ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers and spook seekers of all ages. My name is Costa Child, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park Halloween update. Where today we're going to be talking about Halloween Horror Nights 2021. Now, you'll have seen part one of these Halloween Horror Nights updates today from Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Bride of Frankenstein Lives, Universal Monsters. However, this is part two, where we have two brand new mazes announced. So, before we get started, guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you are new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you, that's right, you behind the camera, can submit your own ideas and video content for the channel. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the other two mazes, the new two mazes, and that's for Halloween Horror Nights in 2021. So this particular news is uh, just exclusive for Hollywood. So it looks like Orlando will probably release two different mazes. However, we have two returning mazes for Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood. The Curse of Pandora's Box and The Exorcist are coming to Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood. Now, first of all, The Exorcist. We know what The Exorcist is. We have a, If you haven't watched the film, you've been living under a rock for the last 40, 50 years or however many long it's been out. Uh, but trust me, The Exorcist is one of those legendary, and I mean legendary movies, uh, that you can never get away from, you can never escape it, you can never get away from it. It's one of those, you know, horror films that stands the test of time and uh, The Exorcist is officially returning uh, to Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, so, for those of you who need a bit of context from the website itself, the film that fueled your worst nightmare has returned to Halloween Horror Nights. And the most haunting scenes from the film as 12-year-old Regan is possessed by a demon, possibly the devil himself. It's a battle of wills between good and evil. Now, of course, the other one, The Curse of Pandora's Box. An ancient horror has returned to prey on those foolish enough to tempt the fates with the curiosity and greed. Into Pandora's Curiosity Shop, where her infamous box lies. Once it's opened, all manner of evil will be unleashed. Greek mythology is about to become your monstrous reality. So that is the Curse of Pandora's Box and The Exorcist. Now I'm going to share my thoughts on all of them. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers and spook seekers of all ages. That is speaking about the wonderful new announcement of the Curse of Pandora's Box and The Exorcist returning for Hollywood Halloween Horror Nights 2021. Like I said, this is just exclusive to Hollywood. This is on the Hollywood website, not the Orlando website. Orlando has Texas Chainsaw Massacre and The Bride of Frankenstein Lives Universal Monsters as well, but they don't have these two. And that is why I think because Orlando will announce two exclusive bases of their own to make up for Hollywood announcing uh, the Return of the Exorcist and Curse of Pandora's Box. Now, are they going to do the same as Hollywood and announce two returning mazes, or are they going to announce two new mazes? And then Hollywood announces two new mazes exclusively to them. And then Orlando reveals two returning mazes. I'm not too sure what the order of announcement is going to be, but we'll see what happens with Orlando. But with Curse of Pandora's Box and The Exorcist, wow. Just absolutely wow. This could be interesting. So, first of all, The Exorcist. I love that film. Absolutely loved it. Loved it for years. I think there's real creative potential to uh, keep this fresh, keep it, um, keep it twisted, keep it sick and demented, and just refresh it a bit more. I, I think there's room for potential there to keep refreshing the scenes, make it even more lively and scarier than ever. Um, and I, I personally feel like they could do that. Now, with the Curse of Pandora's box, I like the sounds of this. I really love the sounds of this. Um, now, with the Curse of Pandora's box, I think this could be a wonderful maze. I've not too, seen too much of it upon its return, uh, but I feel like there's a real potential to use the, the scariness factor of it. I think there's a real potential to utilize the effects and the lighting and you know the transitions of scenes, and there's a real potential with that. So, I like the story of the Curse of Pandora's box. I really love the story of Pandora's box and the Curse of Pandora's box and the whole you know Pandora's Curiosity Shop uh, experience. So, I think the whole thing of that Curse of Pandora's but I think it will be set in the curiosity shop. 
there may be a couple of outdoor set well not outdoor sections in terms of outdoors but i mean like you know what i mean like outdoors in terms of the story like you may go out of the curiosity shop and then be forced back in by the scares or something like that so there's there's potential there creative potential but um i'm probably predicting we'll see similar to what we saw when they were in the event last so i i think that they'll they'll both be similar in terms of previous experiences so there we go guys that is looking at the curse of pandora's box and the exorcist Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and for now, my name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a horror-tastic day.